So good morning, wherever you are. You are watching School TV. We are in Broadville. Um, Broadville here on Red Hill Field where uh, Aqua Life is expected to unveil their uh, new uh, product and tour of their production site. So far, President Jeremiah Pankun has just arrived and he was uh, meet he will meet the speaker who is already seated. Mr. Speaker, Your Excellency, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased and honored to announce the arrival of the Honorable Jeremiah Pankun, Vice President of the Republic of Liberia. Excellency, Your Excellency, Mr. Vice President, the Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives, esteemed guests, honorable members of the House of Representatives, so welcome, other members of the Cabinet, this is TV. dignitaries. Friends, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I'm thrilled to welcome you all to the ribbon cutting ceremony of the new Aqua Life Factory. Today marks not just the inauguration of a facility, but a leap forward in Liberia's industrial and economic landscape under the auspices of Liberty Investment Limited, hugely supported by the International Finance Corporation, the IFC. That being said, at this junction, I would like to lead my position, and I have the honor to introduce to you the visionary and CEO of Liberty Investment, Mr. Joseph Baba, for some remarks. Excellency Jeremiah Pong, the Vice President of the Republic of Liberia, Honorable Jefona Tikofa, Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable Members of the House, Honorable Minister of Commerce, Mr. Amin Mudad, Mr. Nati B. Davis, President of the Chamber of Commerce, Ms. Tahila Khalifa, Regional Director of the IFC, members of the press, our esteemed customers, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. It's our privilege to welcome you all to this ribbon cutting ceremony of the new state of the art Aqualife factory. Today marks a special day for the people of Liberia, for our company, for Liberty Investment and our brand Aqualife. It's often said that water is life, and here at Aqualife, our dedication is to provide safe and affordable drinking water to our Liberian people and help preserve life, water that meets the highest international standards. The new state of the art 
Aqualife factory will increase our production capacity to 45,000 bottles per hour. Uh, sorry, 45,000 bottles per hour from 12,000 bottles, uh, bottles per hour. And certainly all the standards will be kept. And we're hoping that we will provide more affordable drinking water and across the country. Let me just give you a brief history. In 2017, we acquired this plant from an Indian group. The capacity was like 3,500 bottles per, uh, per hour. We saw the need to expand. We saw the need to provide better quality water. Immediately, we ordered a line of 13,000 bottles from, uh, per hour from Italy. And then, you know, the market was there. We did an exceptional job by providing, uh, you know, better services. Uh, our uh, fleet was increased. We implemented the door-to-door -door policy. We made sure that the water gets to the consumer wherever he is, or as close as, uh, as close to where he is. And then thereafter, we right we invested in a carbonated soft drink. And the plant came from Germany, from a company called KHS. It's one of the leading and the highest. Of this we align our operational goals and uh, with the Liberian government vision for a sustainable, self-reliant -re economy by focusing on the local, local production and expansion. Aqualife enhances Liberia's industrial capabilities and diminishes its independence on imported goods. The main reason for acquiring the 45,000 bottles per hour is to make sure to the maximum, the importation of water, compromising the quality and making sure that the product is always available. We also want to take this opportunity to thank the International Finance Corporation, our investment partner in this project. The IFC facility has enabled us to carry out the expansion of action line to ensure that we are able to reach all major villages, towns, and cities in Liberia. Part of the investment would be geared to providing or having a solar farm. This will reduce the carbon footprint. Our new increased production capacity will certainly guarantee the creation of new jobs. As we focus on door-to-door -door, uh, policy, certainly we'll need more drivers, more helpers, uh, more conductors, and then certainly more uh, people at the production line. We cater to the city on a daily basis, with the exception of the holidays. We also, part of our con concession agreement with the government, we, we have uh, corporate social responsibilities. We are certainly on track on that and we will improve as the time goes on. We have uh, sponsored quite a few students in, at the educational centers in Liberia. We are a proud sponsor of the Liberia Cancer Society. We also sponsor the Liberia Football Association. We pledge to continue our continued commitment to support well-meaning causes in our community as we strive to grow and develop Liberia. 
permit me to also use this occasion to introduce the other products that we offer. Right behind us, it's a CSD line, carbonated offering. We produce American Cola, we produce uh, uh, Bob, Planet Bubble Up, Planet Orange, and Planet Red Mix. Work is underway to introduce Tempico Juice. These raw materials come from the US, one from Georgia and the other one from Illinois. We want to assure you that all products that are produced here do undergo the highest quality control measures. We, on the hour, we, we test three times to make sure that the best quality I would like to give particular recognition to our dedicated, highly professional staff at Liberty Investment. Without your commitment and hard work, none of this would be possible. We especially want to recognize our female staff, the women of Liberia, on this international one day. We at Liberty are, living, are a living testament of this year's theme, Invest in Women, Accelerate Progress. Whether it's from our staff or our customers, high percentage of our women, we appreciate our mothers, our sisters, and our daughters for all that they have done to sacrifice for us. Happy International Women Day to the women of Liberia and the world. On behalf of Liberty Investment, I once again welcome all of you, our distinguished guests, to this ribbon cutting ceremony of the new state of the Factory, and thank you for making time in your time in to share this occasion with us. Thank you, and God bless you all, and bless. You. Thank you very much. Uh, it's Dahlia Khalifa. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Your Excellency Jeremiah Kong, the Vice President of the Republic of Liberia, Honorable Speaker of the House, Honorable Minister of Commerce and Justice, Honorable Minister, excuse me, of Industry, Honorable Minister of Justice, Honorable members of the House of Representatives and Ambassador of Germany, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. Allow me to just say, to, to restate that today is the International Women's Day, so I again want to recognize that day, applaud all women of Liberia and women of the world. Thank you for doing everything you do every day, day in and day out. With that,
by contributing to the private sector, creating jobs, and fostering opportunities with the Mano, within the Mano River Union. Under the Barber family's leadership, Aqualife has become a market leader and a strong distribution network has been set up raising industry standards in Liberia and Sierra Leone. This investment is about more than just scaling a business. It's about the broader implications for economic growth and sustainable de development in Liberia and the countries in which it operates in. With IFC support, the company producing Aqualife is to set to triple its water bottling capacity and enhance the efficiency of its Liberia plant by over 10%, refurbish the plant in Sierra Leone with modern facilities. This expansion, expansion alone, will create over a thousand permanent jobs, 1,000 in addition to its existing workforce. And it addresses the critical need for clean drinking water in both countries. The installation of solar panels, as was noted at the plants, will reduce diesel consumption by 50,000 gallons annually. And this is a prime example of the company's and IFC's commitment to clean energy and environmental stewardship. It further aligns with IFC's strategy to strengthen private businesses that can lead the way in reducing greenhouse gas emissions and achieving sustainable operations. This partnership underscores IFC's dedication to partnering with strong local champions like Liberty Investments, capable of becoming regional and global leaders and fortifying local markets. In essence, this investment is a resounding vote of confidence in the company's vision and capabilities, in investment and in the future of the country and a commitment to sustainable and clean energy practices, which underscores the government of Liberia's strategy and vision for the future. As we conclude, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to both the Liberty Investment Teams and IFC's teams, whose collaboration has brought this partnership to a reality. A brighter future lies ahead for all. May this investment pave the way for a prosperous and sustainable future for Liberians and for all. Thank you. This is a history-making event and we are honored to have her here, so we need to give her a bigger round of applause. Thank you, thank you very much. And thank you too, Mrs. Khalifa. She is the Regional Director for Central Africa and Anglophone West Africa of the, at the International Finance Corporation at IFC. At this junction, it is an honor that I yield my position to someone I know personally and uh, I think I got a chance to thank congratulations to Dick. I haven't seen him since. He's the, the current Minister of Commerce of the Republic of Liberia. And he's someone who understands the manufacturing world like few others. Ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to introduce you to Honorable Amit Mugdar, Minister of Commerce and Industry of the Republic of Liberia. Allow me to stand on the existing protocols by recognizing the presence of the Vice President Jeremiah Kuhn and Speaker Fanati Kofa, our partners, development partners and bilateral partners, ambassadors, distinguished business community, ladies and gentlemen. I congratulate Liberty Investment for this outstanding performance. Before getting in government, I also endeavored into uh, 
numerous businesses, including Va Valley Edition, water production, and so forth. So I understand what such an investment means, what it requires, the level of dedication and vision, the kind of financing that is needed. Thus, I appreciate uh, our development partners for supporting this. Such an investment does not only impact our revenue stream as a, as a government, our domestic revenue or taxes, but it also supports our endeavor to secure and ensure nutrition, quality food products and beverages to our people. It also helps support our agenda to create jobs, input substitution, and hopefully the process of getting Liberians involved in the value chain associated with such investments. Now the new dispensation and vision of the Ministry of Commerce and the Government of Liberia is focused on creating predictable and enabling business environment, supporting value addition, enhancing standards both for our domestic production and products entering into our country. Our strategic aim is to support Liberians, Liberian participation in the related but the relevant value chains. The role of the Ministry of Commerce will continue to support such an investment. We will ensure that we make available the non-fiscal incentives that will encourage this and other investments in Liberia. We are making considerable progress in creating that enabling environment, for example, we are, with the help of the, our development partners, the World Bank and IFC, we are revitalizing, revamping the business registry. We are also employing new technologies at the Ministry of Commerce with relevant to business registration. We are developing new partnership platforms with the private sector. We are digitizing all processes from business registration again to have, providing customer services to the private sector. But our focus again is to ensuring that Liberians harness all of these opportunities, whether directly by investing themselves into it and getting the support, but also with the value chains again, as I said, that such an investment will provide. So at this time, I encourage Liberty Investment to diversify so that they can show means by which they are encouraging not only their investment, but Liberians' particip Liberian participation. Probably requires diversifying the product line or creating market opportunities for Liberian entrepreneurs. I thank our partners, our development partners, and really assure you that the Ministry of Commerce, the government of Liberia, are working this work with you and we are making sure that we are doing our part to encourage investments and harnessing opportunities you provide. Thank you again. God bless. Thank you. Thank you very much, Minister Mukta. It is with pleasure that I invite for some remarks the Honorable Speaker of the House of Representatives, Honorable J. Kunati Kufa. The Vice President of the Republic of Liberia, Excellency Chairman Abang Kuhn, members of the 55th legislature here present, the Minister of Commerce and members of the cabinet here present, the German Ambassador, members of the Diplomatic Corps, and members of I IFC, uh, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. Uh, there's a reason you see an array of high government officials here led by the Vice President of the Republic of Liberia. It is very important to note that on this onset, this government's commitment to invest in free climate and to the encouraging of Latin investment. It is the small and medium term businesses and industry that drives any economy. 
and your investment here is a testimony of that. We have seen the growth of this company. We have seen the quality of this company improve since Joe Baba, a friend of mine, took it over. We want to congratulate you on that success. To IFC, we are saying welcome to Liberia. Continue to do partnerships with Liberian businesses because it is the access to capital that is at most at risk for Liberian businesses and they need that assistance. So by the quality you produce here today, by the kind of investment that we see here today, we are confident your presence in Liberia will magnify. To our Liberian businesses, we want to look at the quality of investment here today, the jobs that are going to be produced, and let us continue to multiply our efforts in the business sector. Uh, I saw some other Liberian businesses, business people here, looking at the success of this, and we say to you, congratulations, Joe, congratulations, Liberty Investment. Happy International Women's Day to all. Thank you. The Honorable J. Fanati Kofa, Speaker of the 55th National Legislature, and members that are here, Honorable Amin Moda, Minister of Commerce and Industry, Honorable Kai and Madam Khalifa, Regional Director and County Manager of IFC, Mr. Joseph Babu, CEO of Liberty and Investment, our ambassador and special invited guests, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, the people of Liberia. On this occasion, marking the official ribbon cutting of the Aqua Life Factory, I have the singular most honor to now invite the Honorable Jeremiah Kwankun. Vice President of the Republic of Liberia for a special remark. Thank you. You can have your seat. Commerce, the delegation from the IFC. The German Ambassador, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Mr. Baba, CEO of uh, Aqua Life, Liberian Business Executive here. I see members of the legislature, citizens of Liberia, distinguished ladies and gentlemen. I want to start by saying Happy Women's Day to Liberian women and women of the world. I'm one of those who believe that without women or women, there will be no world today. Imagine if God has given the part of life that had to do with giving birth or caring child for nine months to men. As impatient as we are, Imagine what this world would be. Maybe there will be a new world today. And because of that, I want to say congratulations to every woman out there, women of the world, women of Liberia, and we are happy for you. I want to say thank you. I stand before you today aware of the need to improve the private sector as a primary drive for economic advancement and development. To rely mainly on public sector job creation is a next step that we must correct within our current governance framework. While foreign, while foreign investment is welcome to develop our private sector, our government is equally dedicated to fostering the local investment to bridge the poverty gap and achieve wealth creation. 
considering the high rate of unemployment and poverty in our nation, we have as a government responsibility to support our local industry and businesses. Our small businesses, SME, Liberian-owned businesses, remain our major focus to lift our citizens out of poverty. Our Liberian businesses and local, our, Liberian, our, our local businesses and Liberian-owned businesses are struggling for needed capital to expand, to expand and contribute to private sector. Even under difficult circumstances, our small businesses, Liberian-owned businesses, continue to demonstrate resilience and competence to compete with foreign businesses. While we encourage foreign investors to help in private sector growth, I've come to salute our local businesses for their consistency and assure them of our government preparedness to create an enabling environment for expansion at this for expansion. At this juncture, I want to extend sincere appreciation to Liberty Investment Limited and its subsidiary Aqua Life for over a decade of investment in Liberia. These investments have not only created employment opportunities for Liberian, but also contribute significantly to Liberia industrial and economic advancement. I firmly believe that the Excellency Ambassador Joseph Yuma Boaka, President of the Republic of Liberia, a rest vision offers a most promising avenue to address the long-standing challenges confronting private sector investment. As we celebrate the expansion of the newly constructed Aqua Life Factory in Liberia, we do so with the hope that our economy will thrive only through a vibrant private sector. This new factory serves as evidence to our federal business climate and send a clear message to the, to the potential investor regarding to potential investor regarding our commitment to private sector development. Distinguished guests, a major obstacle to achieving strong private sector is our failure to identify sector which require immediate attention. I am aware of the many sectors which demand investment attention. But we must prioritize sector which provide immediate transformation. Our strategy should focus on fully developing the arrest agenda, which include agriculture, roads, the rule of law, education, sanitation, and tourism. I believe agriculture and energy are the most urgent sector capable of attracting investment necessary to support other sectors. Liberia abandoned agricultural resources with the potential for increased productivity through local processing and indigenous value chain offers many employment opportunities. With the support of the International Finance Cooperation, the IFC, the World Bank, and other development partners, we can mobilize funds for local businesses and industry to cultivate a, comp a competitive business environment conducive to economic growth and development. As we progress, sectorial diversification will further enhance our private sector. Therefore, I implore the Minister of Commerce and Industry to ensure a level playing field for struggling Liberian businesses while also encouraging foreign direct investment. As a businessman myself, I understand the challenge in assessing loans and other forms of support to expand various businesses within our economy. However, with determination, financial prudence, and strategic partnership, 
we are confident that the narrative will change. The time is now for us to unite to support a support of investment in small medium enterprises and the homegrown and homegrown economy. Including foreign businesses fostering an environment conducive to attracting more investors to boost our economy, improve the lives of our people. I'd like to say thank you. I want to encourage you, Mr. Baba. Thank you ever so much for such wonderful uh, development. We want to encourage other Liberian businesses here to continue getting out their asset uh, loan and grants from entities like the IFC. And let's start to add some value addition to create more jobs for our people. As I was walking in, I saw some young people with placard out there who will stop and talk to them. We know that this job is not an easy job. As you go about this job, there will always be some disagreement. But our ability to sit on the table and solve our disagreement is the way out in this country. Those of you out there who are not here, I want to say I'm listening to you. I will stop by you. I will hear you. Uh, Mr. Baba, the CEO, is our friend. We're going to sit together to see how we can solve your problem and move this country forward. Thank you. God bless you and God bless our country. Thank you. Thank you very much, Your Excellency, for your enlightening words. And an offer thanks to all our speakers, Honorable Kufa, Honorable Kalafa. Thank you all for the valuable insights and encouragement. We now approach the ceremonial heart of today's event, which is the Ribbon Curtain. I invite our distinguished guests to join us in this symbolic at marking a key milestone in the journey towards completing a new upper life factory in Russia in a promising chapter in its development. We would also like to ask you to join us for a guided tour of first the self dream after the ribbon cutting, a guided tour of the self dream factory and the current upper life factory which is being expanded. The sovereign facility is impressive in its own right and serves as a precursor to what is to be expected from the larger and more advanced aqualife factory. We finally made a gather for lunch and some entertainment to celebrate this historic and memorable event. That being said, thank you so much some ushers will guide you to the river curtain and then the, 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 the tour of the drain factory, surgeon factory, and the aqua, current aqua life factory. Thank you so much. Dr. Afamina. Thank you. So, ushers, can you guide the VIPs to the ribbon cotton? And the tour will be done in two batches. Okay. Yes, please remain your seats until the vice president and the honorary speaker leave for the uh, ribbon cotton, and then you can follow after. Thank you. President has um, 
and now that we will meet with with um, some groups of people who have placards seem to be expressing uh, this enchantment. So we will uh, meet up and uh, make a brief stop and talk to them, as he announced. So um, the tour of the facility will uh, now take place. So it seems that the vice president wants to talk to uh, these people. It's, it's not going to speak This started, yeah? Let's go, let's go, let's go.
go, go. So this is the aqua land facility and this is the production site you can see uh, the production of the aqua land aqua land mineral water I don't know where So before entering the production house, you will have to wear a nose mouse and hair cap um, before entering. The uh, current capacity is about 12,000 bottles. So the new investment will mean that we will produce about 40,000 bottles so that it can be um, accessible to uh, Liberians across the country.
So this is the production factory of Aqualash and they are seeking further expansion and a production of other beverages. And what I'm told, the, there will be a capacity of 40,000 bottles uh, produced here per day on the back of uh, 12,000. So instead of 12,000, now it will be about 40,000. There's a lot of
Lala Liberian distributors, and so as a minister, it's good to work with him. That the people who will be the distributors uh, are Liberians. By that, you have Liberians playing, getting involved with the process, and so we create the middle class and some people who are also strong in the economy. So I want to say thank you. It is great. We want to encourage other people to do similar things, and I appreciate it. This is massive. It's up to the standard. Uh, most of your equipment are all standard and I see you following all the the cleaning process, uh, make sure safety and everything. I'd like to say thank you. Thank you. So Minister, please work with him, make sure, sure. Liberians, I know there will be argument that uh, some people take people's goods and they don't want to pay. It even means that uh, Liberians will have to deposit some we amount. Have. We have, uh, okay. I mean, a huge number of you Liberian number. customers. Thank you. We have absolutely Thank no you. problem. Yeah. Very hard work and dedicated, loyal to our brand. That we are happy. As a government, no, we have to be part when of the you community. are okay, no, we are okay. Thank okay. You. The country is okay. And no, we are thank God. Thank you. I appreciate it. It's a pleasure having Thank you. you. It's Thank an you. honor. Thank you. The Vice President will do a group photo here and we'll love uh, each of you to hold a uh, uh,
And so um, that's all we have for now um, on the the unfolding of the uh, additional factories for uh, more uh, production of beverages and uh, the expansion of Aqua Life. And according to the CEO, they from 12,000, um, they will now start to produce about 40,000 bottles of water. Uh, which uh, more Liberians can uh, get hold on to the aqua life uh, mineral water. So we say thanks so much for watching Spoon TV. Always a pleasure. My name is Haji Masale. Again, I say thanks for watching.